welcome to my Flagstaff home. Um, and I'd like to wish all of you a happy belated 4th of July. I hope you guys had a great weekend. This video is going to be a vlog style video with clips of the 4th of July weekend here in Flagstaff where I live. Flagstaff does up 4th of July big. And I think it's probably because it's one of the few big holidays where we have nice weather. The town where I live likes to make a party out of pretty much anything, but 4th of July is just, you know, they just go all out. Usually there's like art in the park going on. We didn't go to art in the park this last weekend, but they have, um, they have all kinds of different events going on around town. There was a fun run. There, um, of course, was our huge 4th of July parade that is absolutely amazing. You just can't even imagine that so many people would come out for a parade and every little organization, uh, business, church, whatever, puts in um, an entry into the parade and, um, and they hand out so much stuff that they actually, at the beginning of the parade, pass out little bags to kids and they all, the kids stand on the side sidelines of the parade and hold up their bags like it's Halloween because there's so much stuff being given out. It's just so much fun. Um, this year, um, it happened to coincide with First Friday, our First Friday art walk downtown. So that's kind of how my husband and I started out the celebration is going downtown the, on July 3rd. So the first set of clips that I'm going to show you are from the first Friday art walk and my husband and I, as I said, went downtown and had dinner and um, there were all kinds of things going on. So let me go ahead and show you that. So this is downtown at the first Friday art walk. And the next scene is from a gallery where my mom shows and we went in there and th these are a few of her paintings. She does a lot of flowers, but she also does a lot of paintings of downtown Flagstaff. And of course, her medium is watercolor. After we roamed around for a little bit, we went over and had some um, Asian food at a restaurant downtown. This is our historic Weatherford Hotel. There was a band that was playing. You can just see that there were so many people downtown that night. Okay, this is just unbelievable. We just happened to sunset. turn a corner and looked at the sunset. And if you look over there, you can see the mountain, the San Francisco peaks. And a little bit of rain. So that ended up being really great and it was nice weather up until well right around the time we left I'm sure some people stayed a long time downtown and got wet but uh, we went home and then um, the next day of course was the parade my husband's company that he works for had a, a little I, I want to say float, but nobody has a float. They're pulling trailers with that are decorated in different ways. And so he dropped me off in the downtown area and then went to get set up for his company's entry in the parade. And so I have some friends who set up easy ups along um, the corner in one of the prime spots. And then we go have breakfast together uh, early. I, I went down there at 630 and then we go out and, and sit and watch the parade which starts at about 9. But this year um, when I was down there because I was down there at 630 there was a fun run going on that was for um, grown-ups all the way down to little kids. So I've got a few clips of that to show you. 630 in the morning and I'm down here this early because my husband's um, work is doing a float in the parade or a trailer or I don't know what they're I don't know how they de decorated it. But there's already stuff going on down here. People are already marking their spots. You can see across the street there's some chairs. My friends straight ahead have put up a bunch of easy ups. And uh, there's a, a race going on downtown, like some kind of a fun run. <laughs> Oh 
really fun thing for us to see before the parade started. And then there was the parade. So let me go ahead and show you some clips from the parade. Some music before the parade started. Take a look at the left of the screen here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could uh, turn your attention to the front of the fire truck for just one second. Got a proposal going on. Cracked me up. It's kind of like Flagstaff. Not as safe as you think. <laughs> That's my husband driving that truck. that apparently we have here in town. That's a group called, I think it's called Zamba Tuke. Monument. That's really cool. 
Look at that! That's just how the doors look. This is a group from uh, Flagstaff Parks and Recreation. And this is some kind of a tractor group. I think it might have been, they have like vintage tractors and yeah. The ballet folklore show. And we have a roller derby team here. <laughs> this was from Flagstaff Hobby Hobbyists. And waste management represented here at the parade. The parade always ends with the first responders and a hose spraying everybody. I think they want to get us out of here. I hope you could see from those video clips how much fun this whole thing was. And it really just seems like a, a Mayberry style parade. Um, any old group can put anything into the parade and there were some really great entries this year um, but there were some that cracked me up like that waste management thing. I mean they just put a sanitation truck <laughs> in the parade. Last year there was a city bus, you know, let's just decorate a bus and put it in the parade. Why not? It's flagstaff. Wait, but that was really really fun and then after that, well in the evening um, my husband and I went over to some friend's house for a barbecue and um, we normally don't go and see fireworks. Some years we don't have fireworks because we can be in extreme fire danger and so some years we don't even have fireworks at all but this year we did because we've been getting some pretty good rain and um, the other reason we don't always go is because it's really crowded and there's tons of people um, and this was no exception but we all decided to go and watch some fireworks so let me go ahead and show you that. These are my friends and my husband's in the background there. And then uh, this is my dad who went with us. Sparks have care. I like the green ones. All of that to say it was a wonderful 4th of July weekend. We had so much fun and if you ever happen to be in this neck of the woods around 4th of July, you should definitely go to a lot of the events and especially go to the parade because um, it's just a whole lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I'll see you again on My Flagstaff Home. If you're not currently subscribed to this channel, I sure hope you would. So just hit that button right there. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is a couple times a week. Take care. Bye-bye.